11 crazy facts about Jerry Garcia that'll leave you tripping. At age four, Jerry Garcia lost most of his right middle finger in a wood-splitting accident during a family vacation when his brother accidentally struck him with an ax. A year later, on the Garcia's next family vacation, Jerry's father drowned and died during a fishing trip. At the age of 17, Garcia enlisted in the U.S. Army hoping to see the world, but was discharged months later on the basis of lack of suitability to the military lifestyle, possibly down to the fact he had already accrued two courts martial and eight AWOLs. In 1961, Garcia narrowly survived a major car accident. At around one in the morning after a party, Garcia went for a drive with three friends. The car jumped a guardrail at 90 miles per hour, flipped several times, and landed on top of one of the passengers, killing the passenger instantly. All the passengers were thrown from the car, including Garcia, who literally came out of his shoes. He ended up in hospital with a broken collarbone. He later said that the crash was when his life began. Garcia came up with the band name Grateful Dead in 1965 after finding the term in a Funkin' Wagnalls dictionary, along with the definition, the soul of a dead person or his angel, showing gratitude to someone who, as an act of charity, arranged their burial. Jerry is credited on Jefferson Airplane's 1967 album, Surrealistic Pillow, as their spiritual advisor. I wonder what else he was providing to them. At the height of the Grateful Dead's touring years, Jerry Garcia was using $700 worth of drugs per day, which is the equivalent to $2,200 in 2024. When the Grateful Dead played Playboy After Dark in 1969, the band's LSD supplier, Bear, dosed the coffee urn that everyone on set was drinking from, including Hugh Hefner and his Playboy bunnies. Hefner later wrote a letter to Jerry Garcia, thanking him and the band for the enjoyable experience. Garcia and Grateful Dead played their final concert in 1978 at the iconic Winterland venue in San Francisco on New Year's Eve, which lasted for over eight hours. The guests were treated to a hot buffet breakfast at dawn when the show ended. In 1993, a self-taught carpenter custom built a guitar for Jerry Garcia after researching his current guitar, Tiger, through pictures and films. It was made from recycled Indian rosewood, which had been taken from a bed used by opium smokers. The guitar, named Lightning Bolt, was gifted to Garcia and became his main guitar until he died in 1995. When Garcia died, an autopsy was done. In his large intestine, the medical examiner found a bottle cap, a pipe screen, a mascara brush, and a small brass key. It was said the key was likely from Buffalo, New York from 1979 and had been lodged in his stomach for 16 years. Grateful Dead concerts were so crucial to the LSD market that Garcia's death contributed to a nationwide decline in LSD use.